Hey, it's Cody, and it's day four riding historic Route 66. Today we're taking a deep dive into the retro vibes, movie magic, motor courts, and the importance of the preservation of history for future generations. Hey, what's up, Cody's Roadies? We are here in Grants, New Mexico. Last night we slept at the Sands Motel in Elvis's Presley's room. Elvis's Presley's. There's so many S's there. I don't know. We're tired, but today we are riding to Tucum Curry, New Mexico. I'm super excited because last night this sign was supposed to be lit up and all neon, and it was not. Boo! So tonight there are a bunch of neon signs, and we are gonna cruise around and check them out. Let's get rolling. Hey, it's Cody. You know me from Easy Riders Magazine and the TV show Mayans MC. But more than just a butt on TV, this butt is riding the Iron Pony all the way across Route 66 with my Iron Puppy Chopper. Together, we're on a mission to raise money for our favorite dog rescue while forging new friendships along the way. Get ready to shift gears and change lives. Today's episode is sponsored by Cardo, the world's best motorcycle intercom system. And now for the answer to last week's Iron Pony Express question of the day. If you guessed A, you're correct, the Sands Motel. After braving the wind and the rain from yesterday, we were feeling super grateful for the sunshine today. I was excited to revisit a place that I've spent some time in a couple years ago, in Quirky Albuquerque. Jigger caught me rocking out to Iron Maiden on my car. Hey, what's up? We just landed in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and right across the street from us is the Chemo Theater. It was opened in 1927 as a vaudeville venue, and now it is said to be haunted by the ghost of a six-year-old boy who was killed in 1951 when a water heater exploded in the theater's lobby. It looks pretty haunted to me. So haunted that it was actually closed when we got there. So we took some rad pics with some super fun murals instead. Route 66, baby! And then headed to our next destination. Hoot hoot! Look familiar? Hey, what's up? We just left historic Route 66 to come visit a very special place. This is the Owl Cafe. You might recognize it from Breaking Bad. There's a scene where Jesse and Walt come here in a flashback. It's a little diner. We're actually gonna go have some brunch in there. But Breaking Bad is really special to me because I was actually in El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. I was here in Albuquerque for a week with the cast and crew filming. I play Candy. Wake up, Clarence, let's go. She's a prostitute, shocker. It was so awesome being here for a week and filming. I got to shoot guns with the cast and crew hang out, went to a bunch of local spots, and now we're back here doing a little Route 66 ride. Everything seems to come full circle. Let's head in and get some brunch. I'm starving. Ooh, whoop, can't forget Chopper. This place was a total vibe. I love that retro diner feel. There's a jukebox on every table. The food was delicious, and we got to sit down with the owner. Hey, what's up? I'm here with Ski, and we are on Albuquerque at the Owl Cafe. Ski just told me that one. <laughs> you get credit for that. Will you tell me a little bit about yourself and about this amazing establishment? Well, I've been in the business for about 48 years, and we opened this place up about 38 years ago. Me and a couple partners built it in uh, 85, and we opened up February 16, 1986. We're famous for our green chili cheeseburgers, and we've been going for about 38 years. Oh, congratulations. When we came in, they were like, it's going to be a little bit of a wait, and there were people out the door, so it is definitely a popular place. And the, the beans that you gave out in the beginning, that was amazing. One day I decided I'm going to take a little fruit cup, put some beans in it, and put some chili in it, and instead of sauce and chip like every other restaurant, we're going to do beans and chili. It'll be different. And I did that for about a year, a year and a half, and it didn't seem, I thought, well, maybe nobody likes the beans, we'll, we'll just stop doing it. I stopped doing it for three days, and everybody started yelling at me, where's my beans and chili? <laughs> now, to the day I die, to the day I'm done with this restaurant, we will have beans and chili on every day. Well, consider me educated, because I am a fan now. Now, you'll come in the next time and order a bowl of beans and chili. Absolutely, and I'm going to message you and say, bring your bike down. Okay, I have to ask, did you see a pop when the Breaking Bad uh, was filmed here and, and all that? 
we had to close the place down. I reluctantly did that because I care so much about the customers, but I did it. I said, I'll take the hit, and it was just huge. The uh, tour group came by yesterday. They come by once a week in the actual uh, meth lab va uh, wagon thing. Oh my god! Yeah, and they do a tour, and they stop out here, and everybody takes pictures and all that. So we had a good time. They filmed here for two days, and uh, they actually had we had a salad bar over here, and they green screened all these windows, and it was filmed over there. And they actually had a booth that was cut short. They made a booth so that they could film over their shoulder. It was pretty fun. I never experienced anything like that before. Yeah, all the movie magic. It's so crazy. Yeah, yeah. What is one of your craziest stories about this place or people in it? Uh, we had an, an owl stolen from us, a little plastic owl stolen. And we found it uh, about two years later. See over there on the Chevron? See on the top of that pole? Yeah. See that little thing sticking up? Yeah. That's a, that's our owl that we stole. <laughs> is that crazy? It was disappeared, and then we found it two years later. We discovered it was there. I was the only one that had one in Albuquerque at that time. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I could have stayed and talked with this guy forever. And it was so fun to reminisce about my Breaking Bad days. I'll see you soon. But it was time to hit the road. Fun fact, my Sporty only gets about 100 miles per tank, which means sometimes we're filling her up from a gas can, and sometimes we're stopping at some pretty interesting gas stations in the middle of nowhere. Which is where we're heading now. Somewhere into the vastness that is the Great Plains. Which was uncharted territory for all of us. And honestly, I didn't even know what the Great Plains was. I had to Google it. And while I was Googling, I found out that our next destination, Lions Corner, is an unincorporated community meaning it has no local government, which equals more freedom, less taxes, and less red tape. That's pretty outlaw country of them. These chickens certainly aren't taking any crap today. Oh, he means business. This place is huge. It's like a little oasis in the middle of nowhere. Mmm, look at all that fudge. It's not only a service station, but also a convenience store, trading post, restaurant, and gift shop. We took a little time inside to goof around. Cody, Sammy, <laughs> hey, magnets. Oh, wow. Dave broke it. <laughs> Can I put this on the company card? Oh my goodness. Your fringe blown in the wind. Look at that, notice if I walk out with this. <laughs> <laughs> Always a Cody, never a Jigger on these name things, but good thing you got your name tattooed on your back, so you'll always have that. Meanwhile, Chopper's outside, building the fandom. I love how happy people get when they see him. He just puts a smile on everybody's face. Call me a nerd, but I've always loved gas station stops. And our next one is about to get even more fun. When these guys rolled in with their gorgeous 1958 yellow Corvette that was billowing smoke from the hood. So Dave ran over there to help them pour water on their radiator. David. David Cody. Yeah. Um, That's Arnold, my sidekick. Your sidekick. <laughs> Started out the trip on the coast in North Carolina, picked up Arnold in Virginia, and uh, going all the way to Santa Monica Pier. Which is where we and started. And we're going to take fun with it. And now you've been up and down Route 66 multiple times? Yeah, gone a couple times, and um, it's not a trailer queen. We're driving. Yeah. yeah. That's what like I'm going to wear, wear like it that, out before. Like that guy back there. <laughs> trailer queen. That's right. I'm going to wear, wear mine out before the grandkids get it. So <laughs> that's my plan. However, much time it takes is no big deal. The oh, first time we did it, we broke a rocker arm stud off the engine, and I had to kind of pull the head off and all that jazz. But we were back on the road a day and a half. <laughs> Got all the tools in the trunk to do any damn thing. That's why I brought these two boys along, because they're the fixers. Between my bike and his car, we were attracting a lot of attention. All right, I'm, that, that, hey, back. Back. No, I want your bike. I'll, I'll trade. You go ahead. Hi, Arnold. Uh, I'm a dog person and a bike person, and this is for your charity. Thank you so much. I built a dog park in my town. Raised forty thousand dollars and built a dog park. Oh my gosh! Okay, I need a page out of your book. Oh, the things we do for our fur babies. Oh, I'm gonna give you a hug. Thank oh. you so much. That's amazing. Okay. Thank you for the good work you do with the dogs. Thank you. Oh, I'll high five Arnold. Here we go. <laughs> dogs yes. are great. All right, thank you guys. You know that, huh? Safe trip. <laughs>
These guys were such a treat, and the footage doesn't even do it justice. But these are the special moments traveling, sharing exchanges with strangers on the road that you might never even see again. And now it's time for this week's Iron Pony Express question of the day. Hope you were paying attention. Established in 1934 by Roy E. Klein, Klein's Corner stands at over 30,000 square feet and is its own blank. Type your answer in the comments below and tune in next week for the answer. You look so tiny next to that semi. That's actually a great reminder that Route 66 is still a functioning trade route. And I have a deep appreciation for truckers. I come from a trucking family and Jigger is local 399. I actually drove on the hit show This Is Us and got my CDL permit. <laughs> Woohoo! That number gets old. Now this next venue we booked three months in advance, so I'm excited to finally check it out in real life. Hey, what's up Cody's Roadies? We made it all the way from Grants, New Mexico to Tucum Curry, New Mexico, and we are at the Blue Swallow Motel. Fun fact, it is the only motel that is still really a motor court, which means that you can actually park your car or motorcycle in a garage next to your room. Everything looks so cool. I'm really excited to give you guys a tour. Let's go. Come on, Chopper. The motel opened in 1939 and keeps the retro vibe alive while using many of the original pieces from the 40s and 50s. This is our room. We have room seven and eight because they connect. I splurged on the family suite. Let's go take a look. Come on in. <gasps> so cute! All rooms feature vintage lighting, period piece style furniture, original bath fixtures and tile work, artwork representative of the era, and a working 1940s rotary dial telephone. Hello, I'd like to order one large cheese pizza, please. I do know that this is an original stove, although it doesn't work anymore, it is pink. And I'd be confident pushing a witch in there. That's a fairy tale reference. Come on, Chopper. You can tell the owners really care. They say, we're doing everything we can to make sure that the kids of tomorrow will be able to enjoy it, and the people who went on the trip in the 50s can still experience it. Also, I'm not the best tour giver. Uh, when we checked in, we got a whole tour, and I'm trying to repeat, but um, just know that I really appreciate everything that's here. To get the full experience, you're just going to have to book a stay and get the tour from Robert himself. Woohoo! This place is so cute. And Chopper thinks so too. Now it's time to hunker down for the evening. Time to go get some rest, Mr. Frog. <laughs> Who are we kidding? Ain't no rest for the wicked. What another epic day riding Route 66. We got to see a bunch of cool locations, bonded with other bike and classic car enthusiasts, and learned about what some people are doing to preserve history for the next generation. All while Chopper is stealing hearts across America. Oh yeah. And you didn't think I forgot about the neon sign that I promised you this morning, did ya? I got you, baby, soak it in. Catch you Cody's roadies out in the wild on Route 66. Thanks so much for watching. Smash that like and subscribe button and shout out to Al Cafe and Klein's Corner for letting us film. Huge thank you to this episode's sponsor, Cardo System, and to our amazing crew. You guys rock. Today we rode 252 miles for a total of 1,005 miles, and we raised $425 for a total of $2,018 for Chopper's Charity. Let's shift gears and change lives. It will be awesome.